What's going on guys? John Elder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're going to test whether or not a player has blackjack for a blackjack game with PyQt5 and Python. Alright guys, like I said in this video, we're going to test whether or not a player has blackjack. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off memberships on my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're going to test whether or not a player or the dealer has blackjack right at the beginning of the game. So you get your two cards dealt, and if they add up to 21, you automatically win. That's just the rules of blackjack. So you can see if we click shuffle, Oh, we see blackjack dealer wins. We get this pop up box. It has a green background, which is kind of weird. We might change that later, uh, but you get the idea. If we hit this a bunch of times up, oh, this time player wins and we click OK. You see the buttons are grayed out. We can't continue the game. It's over. You know, the player has 21. So then we can start over. These buttons come back. And we're good to go. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to a playlist with all the other PyQt5 videos in this series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've just got the code from our last video. I've renamed it Blackjack underscore two. It was Blackjack in the last video. And the first thing we need to do is come down here to the shuffle section. And you remember in the last video, we defined a few things. Let's also define a list for the dealer score and the player score. So let's go self dot dealer underscore score and set that equal to an empty Python list and self dot player underscore score and set that equal to a Python list. And you remember we have these dealer and player and these keep track of our cards and that's fine, but it doesn't keep track of the score. So a face card, Jack, Queen, King in our little system that we created, those are represented by, for instance, the jack is the 11. And it looks like 11 of spades or whatever, right? So this 11 of spades will get saved in our dealer list or our player list, whoever has the 11 of spades. But the score for an 11 of spades is 10, right? All face cards, their score is 10. And the ace card is 11. So that's the point of blackjack. You want to try to get to 21. And right off the bat, getting blackjack, you would have an ace, which is 11, and any face card or the 10 card, which is all worth 10. So we want to keep track of those scores separate from the cards. And we don't really need to keep track of the cards. It's just kind of fun. Uh, but we do need to keep track of the score. So we'll create two new lists for that. And then let's come down here to our dealer hit and our player hit section. And here's where we're actually sort of dealing out the cards, right? And we see right here, we're appending the card to our dealer list. Let's also add card to dealer score. And we're going to need to modify this a little bit because remember, it's going to be like the 11 of, you know, hearts or whatever. So we need to strip out all of this stuff and then just save this number, but then convert this number as well. So like the queen is the 12. The king is the 13, right? We need to convert those to just 10 points and then add them to our score. So that's what we're going to do right here. So fairly simple. Let's create a variable called D card short for dealer card. And we're going to set that equal to an integer because remember, this is like the 11 of spades. If we strip off this stuff, it's still a string, right? We need to convert this 11 to an actual integer number. So we'll do that right there. And then we want to go card dot split. This is the card and we want to split everything from that first underscore the first underscore and then return that it's going to be the zero at the item that's returned. So this D card will now be whatever that number was 12, 13, or if it's just a regular card, like the three of hearts, it'll return three, right? So, okay, that's good. Now we need to determine, Hey, is this a face card or an ACE? If so, we need to change the score from the actual card. You know, an ace is the 14 of whatever. Well, it's not a 14, it's 11 points. So we need to convert that. So let's go if self.dcard equals 14, that means it's the ace. Then let's go self.dealer underscore score dot append, and we want to append 11 on there, right? So because an ace is worth 11 points. Okay. So now let's also go elif self.dcard, and let me just copy this because we're going to do it a few times here. If that equals an 11, which is a jack, or self.dcard equals a 12, which is a queen, 
or self.d card equals 13, which is the king, then we want a self.dealer underscore score dot append, and we want to append 10, right? So the jack, the queen, and the king, they're all worth 10 points. So we want to append 10 to our score, right? And then else, otherwise, we just want to go self.dealer underscore score dot append, and then self.d card. Because otherwise, if it's not a face card or an ace, it's just a regular card, for instance, the three, so we just want to append that three. So our dealer score is going to end up looking like this. So let's imagine you got blackjack, it's going to look like this, right? So each item, every time we get a card, we'll add this to it, whatever, and keep track of this. This is also nice. And one of the reasons why we're using a list instead of just a variable and sort of like a counter is because we want to know how many cards we have at any given time. We can just loop through here and you know add up these because remember, if you have more than five cards or five cards, you automatically win as well. So that's a whole other thing. So, okay, that looks good. Now let's copy this and we just want to do the same exact thing to our player hit. So this is our dealer hit function. Let's come down here to our player hit function. Again, find that append section right here, and I'm just gonna paste this all in. So we wanna add a card to the player scored, and I'm just gonna come through here and change all these to P. So P card, P card. Let's see, this will be a P card. Oop. That will be a P card, and that will be a P card, and this last guy down here is also a P card. We also then wanna change this dealer score to obviously player score. Let me just kind of grab this guy, pop that there and that there. Okay, that looks good. So now every time we get a card, we want to check to see, hey, do we have blackjack? So we need to check our score every time. So I'm gonna come down here to the bottom of this thing and let's say check for blackjack. And here let's call a function self.blackjack, uh, let's say check, <laughs> I don't know, whatever. And we want to pass in player here because we want to know who we're checking for. So blackjack underscore check. And we want to do the same thing for our dealer. So dealer hit at the bottom of this guy. Also pop this in and let's say check for blackjack. But obviously this guy is the dealer. Okay, so we've got this blackjack check function. We need to actually create it. So let's come up here. And let's check for blackjack. So let's define blackjack. We want to pass in self as always. And we also want to pass, pass in that player variable that we just created. Okay, so first let's determine who we're checking. So let's go if player equals dealer, we want to do something. Otherwise, let's go if player equals player, and we want to do something else. So what do we want to do? Well, the first thing we want to do is check right away once the game has started, right? When we get our first two cards, we need to say, hey, are those, you know, blackjack? So we need to check the length of our score to see how many cards we have. So let's go if the len, the length of our self.dealer underscore score equals two. Well, that means there's two cards. That means we're right at the beginning of the game. Then we want to do something. Well, let's add up our score and see if it's 21. If it is, we have blackjack. So let's go if self.dealer underscore score and the zeroth item of our list plus self.dealer underscore score and the oneth item of our list because remember lists start at zero so there's two things in our list that's the zeroth item and the oneth item right if those equal 21 well then we win so uh, let's create a message box here let's just say q message box dot about and we've has in self as always and the title will be dealer wins right and then the little message will say blackjack dealer wins whatever now we don't have this yet in our app so we need to actually import this at the very top so we can just do it like that that looks good okay so let's say uh winner message and we also want to disable buttons right so Let's go self dot and our buttons are the hit me button and the stand button. So uh, let's just grab each of these. So self dot hit me button 
And the other one was self.stand button. And then we can go dot set enabled and set that to false. Okay. And we want to do the same thing here. Alrighty, that looks pretty good. Now let's just kind of copy all of this and do the same thing for our player. Paste that in. But of course it's going to be player score instead of dealer score. So change that and that and that. And here this will be player wins and player wins. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we also want to re-enable our buttons when we hit the shuffle button to restart the game. So we could just come down here and let's say enable buttons. This is our this is our shuffle function which gets called, you know, whenever we shuffle the new game and we just want to set these now equal to true. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and save this and run it, see if that worked. So I'm in my C PyQt5 directory. I've got my virtual environment turned on. Let's go Python blackjack underscore two dot pi. And when we do no blackjack, so let's shuffle, start over, and boom, player has blackjack, a queen and an ace. And right here it says player wins. All right, now that green button is kind of bothering me. Maybe we'll fix that in a future video. And you can see these two buttons down here have been disabled because the game is over, right? Player won. So if we want to start over and start a new game, we can click this and you'll notice these buttons are enabled again. So that's good. And we can keep shuffling until the dealer wins one here. There we go. Dealer wins. Blackjack dealer wins. That looks correct. All right. All there is to it. So that was pretty simple. We just stripped out the cards and converted them to a score and then just checked the score to see whether it added up to 21. If it did, we just flashed a message and uh, disabled and enabled some buttons and kind of all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So it's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Doing over 150,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.